it is an absolute animal. Hello again YouTube. You join me in the garage as usual. There is the Jeep. I'm just getting ready to head out because we always forget on these videos. Um, if you are enjoying them and the different cars and the variations we've got, make sure to, to like and subscribe to the channel. It does help us. Um, and so we know what people do like and want to see and what they don't want to see. So today we are heading down to Pond Garage, South East London, to have a look at the diff and the transfer case to find out what the issue is and see if we can fix it. Spoken to the guys there, I think it's just a oil change needed. So got that ordered in and we'll see how it goes from there. So stay tuned guys and uh, I'll keep it short and sweet this one. Bonjour again YouTube, you join me, Pond Garage, that's where we are, Pond Garage, um, I've just been out in this, oh, hang on. that absolute weapon behind me, um, I'll just have a look around it and then I'll talk to you about what's going on with the car. Cheers. So I've just um, just been out in the SRT8. This is a uh, Brett's car here at Pond Garage, and it is an absolute animal. I can't. <laughs> it's an absolute beast. Brett's done a lot of work to it here, um, and uh, it's, in short, it's a, it's a 426 Stroker kit. Um, obviously, everything else that goes with it. There's a lot of work gone into it. I won't do it any justice and try and. Um, wobble my way through doing what it is, but um, you know it's, it's unbelievable, right, unbelievable. Nice. Hopefully that fixes it. <laughs> Hello, you draw, join me, even, you join me in the passenger seat of the Jeep because I've just pulled over. As you can see, that is the velodrome behind me. I forgot where I live for a moment. So, what actually happened then? So. Basically, it was a fluid change, fluid change in the diffs and a fluid change in the transfer case. Car had a good look over as well. Discussed possible mods for the future. Obviously, Brett's Jeep is highly modified. Uh, this, the short clips I've put in this video do not do it justice, and I've spoken to him. And hopefully, when this is all blown over properly, we can get some proper time with it because it is a animal. There was another one in the garage as well, an all blacked out SRT8. That was a lovely. They, they do age well and look really good, those SRT8s. I've got to say that. Brett has definitely put some ideas in my head. So who knows for that? It is day and night difference. I cannot describe how much the 
And what, the cars improved in general, to be honest. I don't think I realised that this issue was something that I, I think I had in the car when I bought it. So then when the issue is completely eradicated, which it is, there is no knocking, no juddering, nothing now. It's changed. It's, so, it's even more relaxing now. Just so much smoother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Brett at Pong Garage. Garage? 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 Whichever. You have changed this car. Honestly, you have. You now just find me in the driver's seat. I'm just preparing to take the car back, but I've got to say it's a big, it's a big shout out to Brett and, and Pond Garage and everybody actually on the the Jeep SRT and Trackhawk UK Facebook group. Very helpful, um, and my worst fears were allayed, and it was what pretty much everybody said. So thank you, chaps. I look forward to getting many, many more miles in this now. Um, I think it's a hell of a, it's a hell of a vehicle. So I will get it washed at some point. Obviously, lockdown. It's um, it's difficult at the moment, so I will. But I hope you've enjoyed this short. This is only a short catch-up video, really. The issues are fixed. The Jeep is running smoothly. Fingers crossed. Now it's just a modification time. In terms of next videos and stuff, there will be some 205 content coming your way shortly. So. Look forward to that. We're going to try something a bit different with that one, so make sure to let us know what you think on that. Um, and if the time is coming quickly around for the Alpha to come out of the garage at some point soon, but we've got plans with that as well. Well, I've got plans with that. So thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for tuning in over this long, cold winter. And hopefully we'll have some more driving content for you, not just the cars breaking down because it's cold and wet. Thanks, guys.